Welcome back to Adventures in Freeze Drying for Beginners, and today we're going to tackle some citrus. I've done citrus one other time, and I cleaned my lemons with some vinegar water. And while the lemons themselves are very good, I can taste the vinegar on my finished lemons. So I went out and I did some research, and I think I have found a better way to clean your lemons and your limes or your citrus fruits. Remember, they're always going to have some sort of coating on them, even if they're organic. So you need to get that coating off. Otherwise, that's on your freeze-dried food. So that is one thing we're going to tackle today is how to get that off without using chemicals, without using cleaners, so you're not ingesting those. So you too can enjoy long-term storage of your citrus fruits. We'll be right back. In order to get the wax or whatever coating is on your citrus fruit off, you're going to need hot boiling water and some paper towels and a way to get your fruit out of the hot boiling water. Before I even get the water boiling, my lemons all have stickers on them. So I'm going to take the time to go in and get the stickers off of every single one of my lemons. My limes do not have stickers on them, so I do not need to take stickers off of my limes. But I'm gonna get stickers off before I worry about getting the coating off. I'm waiting on the water to boil, so I'm gonna keep taking those off until that water boils. I have my pot of boiling water, stickers are off of my produce, and I've got a container that can handle having boiling water put into it. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm just gonna start with a little lime, put that in there. I'm going to take my ladle and ladle some boiling water over that lime. I'm gonna roll it around in there for a second, so that way it gets good and warm and the whole thing gets coated in that boiling water. Take a paper towel, scoop that out of there. Then I'm going to rub that really good and hard with that paper towel to get that coating off. This feels very different than one that hasn't been having it removed yet. I can feel that the wax is off of there. So again, I'm just gonna keep adding one in, adding some boiling water, roll it around. My citrus has all been cleaned of the waxes. It feels very different with the wax off. So now I'm simply going to very closely cut those ends off because I've discovered those really don't work great for much of anything. I will still put them on a tray because um, I can powder those and use them as lemon rind. But otherwise I'm gonna slice these fairly thin. I've chopped up all my lemons and my limes. I have one tray of limes and three of lemons. I'm going to get my lids on these and put these in the freezer. I have decided my, free, uh, my deep freeze is running anyways, so I might as well let my deep freeze freeze stuff and a freeze dryer just get cold because these are already frozen and not um, use that extra electricity on that freeze dryer to freeze food um, since I've got the deep freeze running. So we'll be back as soon as I've got these frozen solid. My machine is free, but cooled off, starting to freeze. My lemons are frozen. We're gonna go ahead and get those in the freeze dryer. Welcome back. As you saw, I'm just at 24 hours of dry time, but that includes an extra seven and a half hours of dry time, because I set my extra dry time to 12 hours. So why don't we see if these are done? This is that top tray of lemons. There is nothing cold about any of these. Not sure why some of it turned a little pink up here on that guy. Um, but otherwise, um, you know, there's some sticky on here still. I don't know how I feel about the sticky. Hmm. 
and that one's still sticky. The limes are not sticky. I think I am going to go ahead and I am getting ready to go to work. So I'm going to do more dry time. I'm home from work and I've done the other things I needed to do. So it's been a little over 35 hours since I put the limes and the lemons in my freeze dryer. Let's see if they're done now. You'll recall this morning when I checked these, they were still sticky. So I decided they weren't done and I put them back in until I got home from work. Some of these are still a little sticky. So they've got me a little nervous. I'm not sure why they're still sticky, but they're very, very sticky. And I did not have that happen the one other time I tried this. I don't know if that's because I did it on parchment last time, and this time I've done them on silicone. Um, and they're breaking in half. I think it's just the sugars. I mean, that definitely broke in half. These are also stuck to the silicone a little bit more, but they don't feel as sticky. They're also breaking very easy. So I'm gonna call them done and I'll meet you in the kitchen. We're back in the kitchen. These are kind of stuck to my tray, so it's gonna take a little to do to get them off because they're really stuck. So I don't know if I just get the silicone up, if I'm gonna be able to get them off the silicone. Um, they definitely are more stuck than I expected. So that does seem to help them pop off that silicone to just pull the silicone itself up. And then I'm able to get that going up like that. to put one tray per bag if I can get those all in there this one is a gusseted bag which I like because it will stand on its own which makes it a lot easier to fill which I can so once I get all of my bags filled I'm going to put my oxygen absorber per bag and go ahead and get those sealed. I will probably actually wait to seal them a couple days and check and make sure that these are actually dry and that they don't need to go back in the freeze dryer. Thank you for joining me again on Adventures in Freeze Drying for Beginners.